It's been nearly one year since 17-year-old Haley Nellum was killed. Police say she was hit by a drunk driver. And this week, her high school is remembering her. News Channel 15's Gina Glaros joins us with that story. That's right, Heather. If you drive by the school on Clinton Street, there's a sign that reads, Smile for Haley. That's because students say that's what exactly what Haley always did. The support is visible both on the outside and inside. Haley's life and the school's loss can still be seen throughout. It's definitely still brought up in class. We also still pray for her and our intentions before class often. Today, students wrote and posted messages to Haley on a wall in the cafeteria labeled Haley's Memorial Wall. They sold tumblers and bracelets to raise money for a scholarship fund that loved ones started last summer in her name. $500 will be donated to a sophomore dedicated to service and in need of some financial help. Haley was very devoted. She did Special Olympics, and so they want to make sure whoever gets it was really dedicated to service. Among the students honoring Haley is her younger sister, Heather. On the note, we had a lot of inside jokes, and so I wrote my chicken Bert <laughs> because, I don't know, we just come up with the weirdest things. And then I told her how I miss her and I can't wait to be with her one day again and that I love her. A sign of love from the school that her sister says brings her peace. They support me so much and it's just great. I love being here. We're proud of everything that she did accomplish at her life here on earth. And one of the things that you learn from day one at Bishop Dwinger is your goal in life is to make it to heaven. And I think that she did just that. Tomorrow after school at 3.20, students will release balloons, 17 blue balloons for how old she was, and one gold that symbolizes her eternal life. The notes written today on the memorial wall will be burned and released as prayers. All right. Thank you, Gina.